hello guys hello everyone hello people welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys very simple as you all know i always come with simple useful and helpful videos if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe and there's a bell so you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video before i jump in i have so many tuba caps that you can benefit from you can go and check those ones out if you are interested keep watching I will leave the link in the description box when you are done watching this very video you go and click on them and see how they are made i'm using a stretching material here and here measurement is 20 and a half inches by 24 and a half inches i will use the long side for the hair second frame I fold with one and a half inch. This is one and a half inch. Then I will sew here. This video I'm making is a requested one. After the first sewing with one and a half inch, I will fold and lap like this, or you can call it plinth, with one and a half inch to fold. I'm going to have just three plates, one, two, three. And the measurement remaining here is 13 inches, which is also enough. The first thing I will do is to first sew here, then I will lap this and I will sew here. Three plates, three. Then I will bring this way, I fold it into two. I'm not going to curve here like the other ones. I'm only going to mark like this. I have nine inches. I will add half inch to sew. I have nine and a half inches here. I will mark this how I'm going to cut. This is 22 inches plus half inch to sew. 22 inches divided by two will give me 11 inches plus half inch to sew. I have 11 and a half inches here. Then I will only bring this way. I will cut here. You can see the shape, the way it comes. I will sew here and I will sew here. After sewing from here to here, then this place I will use thread and needle to make gather on the back i finish sewing here this is the back with my thread and needle i'm going to start i will leave this place then i will start the gather from here After drawing the thread, I will tie here, the last place here. After tying, I will sew back. Here. Place my hand inside then I will use my thread and needle to make gather then I will sew back to secure to secure the thread I will tie and tie the 
this on Ganza. The measurement I have here is seven inches. I have seven inches by 110 inches. This ribbon. I'm going to use this ribbon to sew the edge, the long part. I'll place like this and sew all through. Then I'll turn after sewing to the right side. This side will show. This ribbon will show on the right side all through the length. All through the length. You can use either side for the front or the back. I finished sewing ribbon on this side. From here, I'm going to use my thread and needle to make that on. From here. After drawing the thread, I will tie this place. And I will sew to the front. This is going to be the front. There is the back, this place. I will sew to the front. The reason why I'm doing this is to secure the thread. Please try to use matching thread. Tie and sew back as many times to make sure the thread is well secured. Sew back. Let's see here and tie. If there is any rough one, just bond down with lighter. Then you will sew it to where you want it to be. Just you can decide where you want as the back or the front. I will place or I will place here. You decide. Then I will still sew with my thread and needle from the back to the top and from the top This is the final look. Like I said earlier, this video is a requested one. So if you like what you see, let me see your thumbs up. If you are new, please subscribe and remember the notification bell. And share this video to friends and families. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time.